So the school finally grew from preschool. Now this is a K through 12 a, a, a high school. And, and the congregation and the school always work together. At the beginning when the church started, it seemed that there was a big space of land. Well, we wish we had more land because now there is no one more inch to grow in this place. Everything is absolutely uh, uh, occupied now in, in use. What you see with the school uh, is a significant crisis that happened about a year and a half ago. When it was built, something happened and the foundations were not the best. And all of a sudden, we have a three-story school over here, close to 800, 900 students all around it. And the structure start to show a lot of cracks. And all of a sudden, we needed to reinforce absolutely everything. Because otherwise, the government came and said, either you do that, or the school will close. And the church has faced such a significant, significant challenge, yet, God has been there all along the way. And we are talking over here, and that's a lot of money for an institution like this school and church. We are talking over here investing close to 700,000 US dollars. That's a lot of money. And the church has taken a, a loan from the bank, and so, in other words, the bank now kind of owns this structure, so to speak, but we are confident that God is going to provide and look where the children had to be moved to, to classes and, and carbs. And, and now the government has said that the, the deadline for this thing is March 10th, which we are extremely close. So they are working day and night. The, 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 the structure has been secured. Now we need to put the bricks and everything, but they are working day and night.